is a shining example of the prominent role NASA continues to play as a world leader in the development and flight of Earth observing satellites. Lima takes us from the world of black and white TV because <coughs> previous mosaics were much lower resolution, single band images, grayscale images. Lima is not. Lima is true color, high resolution representation of, of Antarctica. It really is what it looks like. And then by comparison, the same area shown in localizations are very striking and, and illustrate what we're talking about. We're realizing now with even most recent observations that, that there are sort of pulses of activity that, uh, that occur uh, internal to the ice sheet. And we're still trying to understand that on a, on a scientific basis. But, um, but there are places that are changing even away from the peninsula and many of the other satellite observations that are being collected of the elevation of the ice sheet as well as its motion through other sensors are highlighting um, and directing scientists' attention to particular places around the continent. ...of maps and imagery that are needed to advance Antarctic research. The concept of a Landsat mosaic really gelled at this meeting and the results are now available for us to use. So in a very real way, Lima brings new opportunity by opening new vistas on the continent. Being able to see where we couldn't see before will lead to new ideas for research. And these new ideas for research will in turn lead to new knowledge about the continent. This is Scott Ford. Scott. Thanks, Bob. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here today. Until now, scientists working in the field, whether they're glaciologists or geologists or biologists, they've had to they've had to limit themselves to land information that's, that's not been quite as useful. Of course, broad reconnaissance scale maps have been available, and these have been very useful, but detailed maps and imagery from aerial photography have been rather limited. They've been limited both in terms of the amount of data available in the regions that they cover. Glaciated landscapes. It facilitates comparison of Antarctic landforms to similar features in other glaciated regions, such as Greenland or the Rocky Mountains, or even to features that may represent past glaciation on places like Mars.